Welcome back in Tegrivistrio and in this video we are going to learn about how you can create the advanced zombie. So typically we create and we pretty much know about uh, the behavior tree but in this video I am not going to uh, teach you the behavior tree and we are not going to use the behavior tree as well because for the as a beginner uh, it's um, complicated for understand the uh, AI behavior tree so I am going to show you with everything with a blueprint okay. So let's get started. The first thing we need a couple of asset pack. You can use any of asset pack which one you like. So in my case, I'm using lots of asset pack in depends on my requirements and everything. So let me create a new level and you can select as empty or whatever you want. So I'm going to uh, select as a landscape and then let me add some basic light system. You can typically add the light system very quickly by going by window then click here that environment light mixture just click 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 and here boom your lighting system are ready you can click on save now for basic start we need a player start location it's needed that's why so now click on play and here boom we have our player start location so why we can do our everything okay fine so this is a first person character okay now for the zombie i'm going to create two type of uh, zombie okay the first zombie we are going to a basic zombie not it's kind of like not it's not a basic but it have some advanced feature as well so first let's create a uh, folder so for create folder i like to personally i like to give something like this that a then dot or minus whatever you want to put okay or dash then you can put your uh, like a bp so or enemy so I'm going to put it uh, enemy. So whatever will happen that it will be always keep my this folder at the first place. That's why. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's all basically. So the, the color. So it's going to be highlighted super. Okay. Now we need a first a character class because for AI I personally use the character. You can use as a pawn as well. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to use the character. Okay. That's good. Then let's give it name BP dot AI. So BP dot AI. It's basically our AI character class. So double click and open it so first what we we need is basically a ai so and for example i'm going to filter the skeletal so it's going to be more easier for me to find out everything so for typical ai i'm going to use this character as a mesh okay and now i'm going to choose the uh, we need to set the value so minus 90 by minus 90 it will be fixed the rotation as rotation as well okay oh sorry 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 yeah uh, the minus 90 and it the rotation should be uh, minus 90 as well okay now pretty much it's looking good if you see in the uh, our level okay so yeah it's pretty much good so now we need to first give his uh, some mo most basic command that it can detect and it can go the random location now look in there's a lots of way you can uh, manipulate the AI for example you can give him a random location so he can go anywhere you can also there's a one more option we can set that we can choose some points and he always go at that point and try to go near of that okay kind of like how we do in the AI behavior tree that uh, reachable point navigation it's pretty similar so i'm going to make the both system okay we give the them we give him the both abilities okay so yeah this is going to be a super master ai so first thing what we need is we need to give him the data about what he wa what he can do and we're going to be control everything from the variable so the variable decide how he should behave the first thing random location or selected location if it's a random location so let's give it the random location so what will be do that uh, it will be verify that are he's looking for a random location or is this AI set for the random location or not. So I'm going to choose a sequence because probably I need that in too much or in a more in future. That's why. So first I'm going to verify that if it's a random location uh, he set it or not. So for uh, edit in from our editor level we can set it editable and expose on pawn. Now compile and save. So now what will we do that if we choose the our AI character and we'll be see that we can choose or set the value inside from our editor. That's what I need basically. Okay now if it's in a random location let's create a function if you want you can create a function or you can even create a max function. So let's give that AI move to which is the most basic simple code that AI move to and the pawn will be the self and the destination will be get random reachable points so get random 
reachable points you can also the navigation points radius but i use personally this one then get actor location from the original location and for the radius you can put the radius so at this thing i'm going to also put this value to our variable so we can control even the radius of finding location radius of finding location and let's give it the expose and by default we are going to put a value of 2000 value float value and we don't need to give the filter classes if you want you can choose the navigation by query filter it's it's not uh, it's not uh, important or needed but if you want you can uh, put it it's not mandatory for the accuration and radius which is basically acceptance radius which is basically meant that uh, suppose if the ai pick a location for example like this cube location the spare location and the ai is near of that uh, like a 5 or 10 values float value it will be say that or he will be calculated it's as a success so that is the basically the acceptance radius value so in my case i'm going to put it value to 100 and one more thing uh at here now we need to basically uh continuously it's giving its input so it can be run every time so also we don't want that it should be overlap multiple times so we'll be use a do once note that complete it will be a yeah, move to and if it's a success or fail it will be get a delay seconds which is basically it gives some time to uh you know accurate everything so delay two seconds that do once that what will be going to be do it's it's going to be reset the same thing okay at this point it's going to uh, uh recheck so custom event dot recheck also you can do it by uh, a what check if you can say like um, a timer so it will be do recheck so for the delay fix what should we do that whenever it's execute okay after that uh, uh, for the reset whenever it's execute we need to give it as a reset as well so we'll need a sequence from here and will be reset as well so it can be get the inputs uh, whenever it start so something like this and we'll be connect something like this okay now it will be recheck after it's a successful or fail and if it's continuing that's good okay kind of like that so now if it's a random location it will be do this thing so now we also need him to reset this as well so what we're going to do we are going to uh, set a once it's a success or whatever it is his did after that we get, we need a uh, sequence node and he, after that we need a delay to manipulate it and we're going to launch our this value to our do once node so it will be basically repeat the whole process or it's basically you know uh, if i say just basically reset the our do once or oh, I, I mistakenly shoot the long direction or in a wrong node something like this and now i'm going to put the value to 0 0.3 or 5 something like this like 0 0.5 or 52 okay it's not important but you, you can use a lower value it will be going to be more affected or uh, more efficient okay so this is basically our most uh, easiest ai ever we made also for character movement we can decide it so i'm going to uh, uh basically get the character movement set max uh, location or max walk speed so we can even control his walk speed as well so because this is the ai it's advanced we are able to control lots of things it's not just a basic ai so maximum walk speed so we can decide it so add it exposed and i'm going to put the value because it's the ai zombie i'm going to put the value to 120 value okay so this is only the for the set so now if i click on the play and if it's by default i know it's a false so let me choose it the our ai as true the random location level and also we need a navigation uh, radius point so uh, match volume so it's going to be tell our ui that how where he can go or where he not and boom look he's now finding and once he reach that location he'll be uh, after the 0 0.2 milliseconds he'll be find a new location basically okay so if it's not working it's because uh, some of cases uh, the execution is become delay okay because the recheck like what is happening now it's basically success or whatever it's did now it's did a do once oh i yeah i also did the same thing that wrong uh this uh now let's see now it's moving 
and now it's get reach a location hopefully let's see where he reach we are going to yep reach it and now he should be finding new location okay he didn't find so as a recheck it's going to be check everything and i guess we don't need to put a delay let's see if we don't put a delay at here what he do or even uh, uh, before it i want to execute it so let me do something like this a sequence that it's going to be do this and at the same time it's going to be we execute our the system so we can recheck it let's see if this is a logic work so here's our AI is moving and yeah now okay fine now it's working because there's a, some delay is happening and with the two ones is not verified as well so as you can see now it's going to be do the same thing uh, rep, uh the loop type uh, like it's going to be find a location it will be stay sometime now we can put him a some information at this location because this is totally still now basic we have we give him abilities but still it's now basic because we want to do give him some thing to do once he's find a location for example if he successfully find us what sh he should do or he or she what she sh uh, yeah in our case it's he so what he should be do or if it's fail what he also should be do like he can do some random roaming he try to find something or look around something okay or try to you know just do something and then it should be go so we can create a custom event called do some work so do uh do some work okay so it will are going to be implement this do some work in the next part where we are going to give him some abilities or some uh unique stuff so he can do something like a roaming or eating something or trying to find something okay so yeah we are going to be give him and once he's done he can again come back on his uh, old system as well so also we are going to be make sure we are going to set it as our ai find location so it's going to uh, we are going to give notes because as commit so it's going to be more easier for us to find in future and this is our do once book so we can give it a working so let's give it a green color so it's going to be highlight so in next part we are going to be check it okay so thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next tutorial video and yeah bye bye have a great day